Hey, this is Lola Rose Bros. And today we're here in Oregon at Silver Reservoir to do some fishing. All right, first first fish of the day here at the reservoir. And we've got this little bluegill here, it's flailing around a bit. I'm just gonna unhook it right now and let it go. I just caught another bluegill. Same bait, same mechanism, same hook and everything. It's just, I lost my bait that time. I'm gonna use this one as live bait so I can see if I can catch a bigger fish with the same fish I just caught. Okay, so here's a close up of what, what I'm actually using to fish. So I have this golden hook right here and I have a little clip on weight that you can just use pliers to clip onto your line. And here I have a white power bait worm. It's just a little piece that I just clipped off. It's looking a little dirty, so I'm going to get a new one. Here's what they look like. Now to hook, put them on the hook, you want to, first you find a, a string of worm and you take off a little piece then you take the hook and you take the biggest end of the worm and you slide the hook through here and let it poke out from under here. Then you do more of it into here so the finished hook should look like that. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do to get set up for bluegill fishing. We return back to the campground. We're setting up a crawfish trap to catch some crawfish. All right. We're here at a creek and we're going to set up a crawfish trap using the bluegill we caught earlier today. So I have this can to put the bait in, then I have this trap for the crawfish. Cut it up so the crawfish smell it. Right, now let's put it in. You poke a bunch of holes inside of the can as well so the crawfish can smell it. All right, we have our trap set. Now we're gonna put it in. I'm gonna go for a spot where no one will ever know it was in. All right, I'm gonna put it down. All right, I've just tied the crawfish trap up and put it down there and you can even see the crawfish. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're very big, but there's bound to be some bigger ones. So I'm just gonna tie the rope to the stick so it can't go away, then just put the stick right in there. Within an hour, there's already like 10 crawfish. Appar apparently they like bluegill or this is just an amazing spot that we found. Look at all of these crawfish. Number one. Number two. Three. Four. Ugh. Five. Six. Seven. Eight is a big one. That's a really big one. Nine. Ten. 
11, 12, 12 total, It's a lot. It sounds like it's boiling in there, but it's just them all moving around. Okay, we're taking back the smallest three. There we go. We're taking up the final crawfish pot. Crawfish I just saw were slipping out. So the biggest ones that were in here are not in here anymore, but we do have a few. All right, so we put the crawfish trap in twice and we got quite a few crawfish. So now we're going to cook them. We're using a camping stove to boil our crawfish. We only use salt and pepper, but you can use any seasoning you'd like. We're going to eat the crawfish. They're cooked. Yum! I approve! Thank you for watching. The next La Rose Rose video is coming out soon.